Welcome to CPCS Blue Card Renewal Test, 2022. UK. The Construction Plant Competence Scheme CPCS provides skills cards for the plant sector of the construction and allied industries. It was launched in 2003 and since then over 300,000 cards have been issued across 60 categories of plant and related occupations. The CPCS Management Committee continually review and amend the scheme, in light of ongoing industry feedback, and external factors such as the latest occupational health issues, technology advances, and new plant types. Not all cards are the same. Are people on your site competent to do their job or just carded to get a job? It's not about getting a card to work, to get on site, it's about having people on site you can trust to do a good job, safely. Be competent, be carded, be safe, with over 300,000 cards issued across more than 60 categories of plant and related occupations, CPCS is the construction industry's largest plant card scheme. One-to-one -one testing of theory and practical, provides a stronger basis to test a candidate's knowledge, experience, and practical skills than in group testing. More test questions, depth of knowledge tested further, using an average of 70 questions per category. Center-based testing, over 90% of our practical tests are taken in purpose-built test centers, ensuring the full range of operations are covered, without disrupting a site. Independent testing, ensuring testers are not involved in the candidate's training, guarantees the independent measure of ability and knowledge. How to get your CPCS card? Why choose CPCS? Accepted on all UK construction sites and in many cases, is the only card to be accepted CPCS is the plant partner card scheme of CSCS helps you meet your health and safety obligations. Over 180 approved test centers free online support materials, including theory test questions. Over 200 test sites nationwide delivering theory and practical tests helping to set industry standards for over 30 years. Training and testing standards developed by industry-led working groups. CPCS cards help prove people have the skills and knowledge to do their job competently on-site, we do this with support from a management committee of federations and organizations, employers ensuring assessment standards are robust, comprehensive, relevant, and up-to-date. A dedicated team of quality assurance personnel. Supporting lifelong learning and the maintenance of occupational competency continually reviewing plant categories to ensure the scheme meets employers' needs. CPCS Management Committee is supported by key industry bodies, such as Build UK, MP Awards, SICA, NFDC, HBF, Unite, CPA, SPOA. With ongoing changes come ongoing challenges and we look forward to continuing work with industry and our test centers to ensure that the scheme further contributes to establishing a competent, safe, and efficient plant industry. The industry-led CPCS Management Committee has determined that key safety-related knowledge must be checked on each category prior to the renewal of a CPCS competent operator blue card. The CPCS renewal test is the means by which blue card holders will be tested on topics that reflect safety issues and good practices, identified through consultation, that occur regularly on site. For each topic identified there is a set of questions, from which a number will be presented in the test. Each test will ask a total of 15 questions selected randomly to ensure all topics are covered. The test will cover all categories within the scheme through modules. Some modules have been devised to cover a range of similar CPCS categories. The CPCS renewal test is delivered through the CITB testing services platform alongside the health, safety, and environment test. The questions and answers are not published but the questions asked and the correct answers needed are directly based on the information within this fact sheet and the video. Prior to taking the test, 
card holders are advised to carefully study this fact sheet and the video, which will prepare them in deciding the correct answer or answers to each given question. Early preparation is key to being successful on the test. The information in this fact sheet and the video is only an outline to what experienced operators should have an understanding of and cannot provide additional information over and above what is written. However, there is a lot of information within the fact sheet and the video that may take some time to absorb and understand so card holders are recommended to study the fact sheet and the video well in advance of the test and should have an understanding of the content at all times. Where the card holder is not sure of any of the information in the relevant fact sheet and the video, they should not be afraid to seek additional help and guidance from their employer, experienced work colleagues, or from approved CPCS test centers. The test is valid up to two years before the card expires and card holders should take the test early on, giving themselves ample time to prepare and understand the information in the fact sheet and the video. This will avoid any stress and pressure of taking the test when the card is just about to expire and for which there may be a risk of not being allowed to work, as the card cannot be renewed unless the test has been passed. Correct answers are based on legislation or good practice adopted, in the majority of cases, by the construction and allied sectors. This fact sheet and the video has been designed to highlight only topics that have been identified through industry consultation areas with safety issues or where good practice is often not complied with. It is acknowledged that variations may occur depending on the nature of the operation or on how the machine is used. However, the correct answer to each question is based on common practices or manufacturer's requirements for the majority of machine types within each module, and applies to the test irrespective of how a machine may be used within a particular activity or sector. It is important, therefore, that the relevant fact sheet and the video is studied carefully. It is not intended as a core training tool and cannot list all essential knowledge and understanding for this category. Operators must always follow manufacturers' requirements, industry good practice and be aware of their own limitations with the machine, and seek further guidance and help where needed. Many questions outline a scenario or situation with the machine from which the candidate is asked to identify the correct response. To be successful in a module, card holders need to correctly answer a minimum of 12 out of the 15 questions presented. However, because many of the questions are safety related, in the majority of cases, a minimum number of questions per topic need to be answered correctly. Failure to do so, even if the overall minimum number of correct answers has been reached, may mean that the card holder is unsuccessful on the test. If the card holder does not answer all the questions correctly, the score report issued after completing the test will indicate the topic areas in which the questions were answered incorrectly. However, the card holder should, prior to retaking the test, thoroughly restudy all topic areas as they may not get the same questions again. Advice when taking the test At the start of the test, there is an opportunity for a practice run which is highly recommended even if the candidate has taken the test before. When starting the test, questions from the bank appear in a random order. As there is limited time, candidates should read each question carefully and if they are unsure of the answer, they should flag the question, which means they can return to the question later, and move on to the next question. Once the candidate has answered questions they are confident on, they can return to the flagged questions and attempt accordingly. If there is remaining time, candidates are strongly advised to continually recheck their answers and use all remaining time available. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to support this channel. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your test.